Shalom and hello and bonjour and all those other things. Um, I was asked about why I converted and I'm sure that a lot of my old high school pals who have uh, searched me and found me on Facebook were like, what? Because uh, this that you see now is definitely not what you saw back then. Um, and even it's, it's not just the covering, it's the whole uh, that I have faith because I was a very outspoken atheist um, back in the day. I'm so old now, I can't believe how old I'm getting. Um, so I guess how did I come to this? Let's see, it would be in high school and I had my um, boyfriend at the time who was really great for me, wasn't he? Uh, anyways, wasn't the best relationship. He was kind of a... a donkey. Um, but it is what it is. Anyways, then I got pregnant and dropped out and I gave my baby up for adoption and blamed God for how horrible my life was. Uh, so I turned my back on him and, and what can you say? Uh, so then I healed a little bit I guess in myself and um, left numb nuts. Uh, and um, started searching. So I went back to, uh, I, was, I was raised as a, kind of a joke to say I was raised as a Lutheran. I was baptized as a Lutheran and um, I went, <laughs> I remember watching Laura Ingalls Wilder at Little House and you know, always excited because they went to church and I wanted to go to church and I asked my mom once why we don't go to church and she, she said, oh, I'm sorry mom, she said, because we're Lutheran we only go to church for weddings and funerals. I know that that's a lie, but I believed her and looking back on it that was really kind of funny, but anyways, that's what we went to church for, weddings and funerals, that was it. Um, so I found a Lutheran church and I went to it and it was okay and um, got the Bible and read into it and I didn't feel it. I didn't feel what I saw these people around me feeling and and um, so I looked elsewhere. I went into all the isms, okay? I went into Taoism, I went to Buddhism, I went to Judaism, I searched everything, I thought, everything. I searched all kinds of faiths and all corners of the world that I could find and um, nothing nothing hit home for me and so I gave up and I was like okay that's it if these things aren't right and I can't find anything that is right then that's it there's nothing for me there's no God so I went back to that sort of atheism but still searching right I guess that's not really an atheist if you're searching for God but whatever <sighs> beside the point then one day I was working with a born-again Christian girl. Um, and this is nothing against born-again Christians, but she was one of those born-again Christians that was like, woohoo, off the wall kooky, okay? Um, and she said, she was talking about it, and I uh, am very good at doing uh-huh, 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 when people are talking to me, because I really half the time don't care. Um, Anyways, <laughs> she was talking to me, and then she said, uh, when I make love to my husband, I'm making love to Jesus Christ. And I was like, what? Uh, I'll let you all digest that for a little bit, because it took me a moment, and I was like, you've you are off your rocker. You gotta be kidding me. How psycho are you? You're nuts. Um, 
And then I went on to say how, um, because I had somehow formulated in my mind, probably back when I was 10, 11-ish, that um, I could not believe that Jesus was the Son of God. I just, he's God. Why does he need a son? He's God. Is he going to die that he needs a son? And Jesus walking around on earth and eating and pooping and and that's that's very ungodly to me. So um, I had formulate I had that kind of basis in my mind, I guess, to begin with, and so I had said this to her, and um, she didn't like that, uh, and so we kind of had a spat. Nothing like this fight, just bleh, back and forth, right, with my. Uh, somewhat atheist views against her very strong born-again Christian views. Um, and then along came my boss, who happened to be Muslim, and <laughs> split us up. But then he took me aside and he said, you have some interesting ideas. Um, I'm going to bring you some literature. So the next day he came back and, uh, I don't know if he went to the mosque or whatever, but he brought some, some pamphlets about Islam and I gobbled them up, gobbled them up, I could not read them fast enough. And then um, he brought me back a Quran, and I read it. I didn't read the whole Quran. I read the very first. Uh, it's called the opening, Surat al-Fatiha, which is uh, very similar to um, some of the things I guess in Christianity, right? Um, but. When you are faced with the truth, it is un absolutely undeniable. And uh, that was undeniable to me. I knew it is literally, what, six or seven um, verses? Doesn't even take up a quarter of a page. And I knew that I had found the religion that. I've been searching for. And then I was scared poopless because even back then, this was, oh gosh, this was almost 13 years ago, even back then, Islam was uh, pretty much synonymous with terror, terrorism. And I thought, how can I know that this is the right faith for me when you know you're hearing about suicide bombers and hijackers and yada 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 right but the more I studied and the more I read into it and I didn't I certainly didn't just take um, the information from my boss I I have a brain I use my brain and I studied The truth is the truth, no matter how many ways you try and turn it and spin it and wrap it, it is what it is, and I knew that that's what I needed to do. Um, and I became a Muslim. And then I married my boss. <laughs> but, yeah, um, that's my story. So, I hope you all found it interesting, or it answered some questions. If you still have questions, ask them, I'll answer them. And all you haters out there, if you're going to ask me rude, disgusting, horrible questions, or say horrible, disgusting comments, they'll be deleted, okay? Because this is my story, and I'm not going to have you go all nasty on my stuff. If you don't like it, don't watch it. Bye bye <laughs>